in the next video, I will show you how to get started managing creating your online course using the Teachable. Perfect for beginners here. To get started, first of all, I'm going to head here into Teachable.com. If you don't know what this application is, well, this is an all-in-one platform which you can create, sell, and manage your online courses with its easy-to-use interface, built-in payment processing, and detailed analytics that can help you, of course, to check out processing, payments, and the tracking of everyone. So Teachable helps you build a full online teaching business, no technical skills required. You have the link down below in the description to get started and to have one great deal here in Teachable. Now here in Teachable, first I'm going to click into the link down below and here's going to be asking you to create your account, enter your full name, email, passcode, confirm your passcode and agree to the terms of service and go for create your account. Then, as it is usual, you might be having three months totally for free that I can use here in the Teachable. Of course, you make sure here that this basic trial is seven day free trial, so you don't have to worry about the three months free. Now that you have access directly inside the Teachable, you can see that here's a little bit about them. So here you can add your own information. For example, do you currently run an online business? Uh, how big is the organization? I primarily identified as are you ready to teach and offer online content? Which platform are you using from? Uh, how big is your current audience? So this is totally depending on how would you like to use the application to fill this as you think that you wanted to, uh, to fill your needs. After you finish this information, then it's going to be asking you to choose your product. You're willing to offer digital downloads, a community, coaching, uh, online courses and uh, much more. Let's say that we are going to be walking through the coaching and go for continue. Now then name your offering. So give it a name. So for example, let's say video editing skills. Now set up how would you receive clients. Intake from means that new clients will first fill out an intake form and then go to the checkout to be enrolled into your coaching services. Or intake form with approval, new clients will be first completed an intake form and then you have to wait for your approval and then they have to wait for your approval before they can proceed to the checkout. And then new clients here go directly to checkout to be enrolled to your coaching services. So I can truly suggest you to focus here for approval if you're going to be focusing with some services like I just did. So you can understand a little bit more about the client. Now you can set up a price, for example, a one-time purchase, a payment plan, a subscription, if this is for free or you don't know absolutely yet. So let's say, for example, that this is um, for one-time purchase. Go for continue. The price, let's go for NDUSD. And let's say they're going to be getting started with just $5. So the pricing plan name, if you wanted to, for example, let's say that this one is starter plan and pricing plan description, let's say for, and you can describe a little bit more about the pricing plan. So this plan is currently, and we can set up a start date. So you can start on a fixed date. For example, let's say that I wanted to get started here into the last uh, week of October or the next week. So for example, here I added this date. Now here you can customize your first milestone. The first milestone is often used to welcome the clients here. So if you can just prepare them for the coaching session, uh, you can tell them what they're going to be expecting today into your work, the description what to be talking about. You can even add a link. You can even add an actual video and a beamed URL and much more. And after you hit now and to finished, the project has now been created and you can start customizing your product. Now here have, for example, basic information about your product, for example, the uploading an image, the author, you have details about yourself, advanced settings, product visibility, the leading, the primarily the, all the coaching content, and here have more information about it. For example, I have the page of the video skills, I have the page title, here is the thank you element, the checkout, and you can preview when somebody clicked in them. So preview your checkout page is going to be looking like this. So here is my school. I can check out templates to get started, of course. I can check out my pricing, up sales funnels, co and clients. 
Now here, for example, I have sized where here I can start creating a logo. I can add in my own branding. I can check out my students. I can check out here into the web hub more about my work. For example, the domain, the themes, the logo, the navigation elements, uh, the custom text and so much more. And you can just play around here into the teach table, check out your school, check out your settings, check out your billing, the help. What about what you're offering? Here's, for example, a basic trial. So we're going to click here. I'm going to close this. So you can set up your brand. You can create your own websites. You can start adding with more stuff. And usually all of this should be helping you to get started with your own school. So guys, this is a really easy way of how you can get started with the Tetrable. There's a lot of things to cover in here, but I think you're now ready to go to get started uh, selling digital products, get started with some courses and some branding elements. So thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Once again, you have the link down below in the description to get started totally for free. And of course, having great deals uh, here inside the TetchedAWOL.com. Thank you guys once again for watching this video. Hopefully with all of this being said, we can see you next time here in TechBrust. See you soon.